what's going on everybody nifty chris with this sub why is it so cold also 10 months it's it's way longer than 10 months that's way longer than our love has existed what's um <clears throat> what's what's the temperature there chrissy chrissy boy i feel like it's way colder in seattle than it ever was when i was there so i'm gonna jump into this draft because i just want to draft i just want to do a little draft arena <laughs> Oh, mirror march. All right, well, more like mirror trash. <laughs> Got him. Get to the points good. It's probably better than clear the stage, I would imagine. Getting a creature back is cool, but I don't know. 37? That's not terrible. You've, you've been worse. Now that I see <clears throat> we uh, now that I see we can finally say for certain that we meet again for the first time. <laughs> also, send my regards to your son, Mike. God, they grow up so quickly. I remember when his first dad left him. God, me too. Me too. Those were the days, you know what I mean? So this is just black, but this is Rakdos. Never a non-token creature in his battlefield until your control flip a coin until you lose a flip, or you make a million copies. I wonder if we can just take this. Mirror mirrors or little mirrors? <laughs> what kind of dog is are they? Who's thinking we should take this mirror march? Thank you. Super Fritz, welcome back. Three months in a row. It feels longer than that. <clears throat> all right well it's six mana though my problem is like i'm gonna play this on six and then like how many creatures am i realistically playing after this oh god whatever you guys talked me into it that'll be the thumbnail if i can find it it's so hard to find magic art mad dash thank you so much for the resub welcome back thank dingus egg thank you so much for the sub really appreciate it you guys are great Normally watch you on YouTube, keep up the great work. I will. I will do what I can. Um, so we're black, or we're red rather, so we can either be Gruel or Iraqi Dose. Probably just gonna take this rubble belt recluse here. He's a husky? Oh, a little mirror mirrors. What a cutie. Hmm. Well. Looks like we can go... Oh, we can take the, the Ceratok, actually. We can Gruel. I think it's probably better than Consigned with it at 6 mana. This is one of the better green uncommons, I would say. Alright, the red cards are terrible here. I'm tempted to just take this Frilled Mystic and abandon our red. Or splash the red like you do. I think the upside of this is so, so much higher than just a random Rubble Belt Runner. <clears throat> Alright. Oh, Rampaging Rendhorn is nice. All right, well. I want to have some reasonably sized creatures to cast after we play the Mirror March, so. Gate Colossus. Gate Colossus has been called, ladies and gentlemen. Now we will take all of the gates that we find. Like this one. And, no, not this one. Dang it. Mana Spider's a good pick. Steeple Creeper? Ooh, Simic Locket. Simic Locket could... <clears throat> it's actually kind of fixing and it also ramps us a little bit. Might be worth taking the Simic Locket here. But I'm going to take the Steeple Creeper because I think we can find another Locket. Alright, well you can go here. Oh, Goblin Gatherings. Here we go. We're doing it. Two down. <clears throat> I think I'm drafting... How can you draft against me? How does that work? I don't think that's the thing you can do. Oh, Deputy of Detention, which I already have a Thor of, so that's not exciting to me at all. Gruel Beastmaster seems nice. I like Scorch Mark too, but I think Beastmaster is a little better. If you can you imagine uh if we Oh, we can have the double mirror march deck, my dudes. <laughs> oh my god. Do we just do double mirror march? Are we just going deep into the mirror march? The answer is yes, we are. I kinda want one gate now. Wow, that's pretty insane. I really want this Sunder Shaman. We can actually forget the Frilled Mystic and just take Sunder Shaman. It's just better on the mana. Oh, Rhythm of the Wild. Okay. Well. Also, Skewer, Clan Guild Mage, Frenzied Erynx. Yeah, that's, this is actually this pack is actually stacked. Hopefully something from that pack comes back. Um, probably just gonna take Rakdos Guild Mage here for our Gate Colossus. Thank you! I like Bulrak, but we already have 
three, four drops, three, five drops. Daniel, what's going on? 15 months in a row. We're getting close to, well, we're not getting close to two years, I guess. We just passed one year. <clears throat> Nothing in this pack is super exciting. I paused my draft to watch the stream. I'm a 3-0 so far with the Zorius, High Alert, Flyers. Yeah, that, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. It's either Borak or Stormstrike. Stormstrike is actually surprisingly decent. Hmm. Hum hum. But this guy's good. I can say any more. Daniel says they've subscribed 15 months in a row, right? That's a streak, right? That was specifically a streak, right? Summer streak still. <clears throat> Right, uh, they start 15 months. Currently on a 15 month streak. So some some will be streaks, some will not be streaks. Whatever that means. Uh, Cynic Locket's probably fine here. What does this one do? Destroy a non-basic land, deals two damage to target opponent. That's a, why is that rare? Anyway, the Bedeck is actually good. The double red portion is very good. We can just play that by itself. Hmm. This pack's not great. I'll take Gruel Locket. Actually, Gruel Locket's fine. I'm okay with it. Take this volley. Tin Street Dodger. This card's not good, right? This is actually a Rakdos card because it helps you get Spectacle. I'm streaking. Yeah, you're streaking all right. You're streaking all right. I'll Thank just take you. this guy. C in quotes. Hey, they added the total number of subscriber ones. 39 months? That's insane. Thank you so much, buddy. Appreach. A preach? That's a weird thing to say, right? Isn't it just preach? I'll just say preach. All right, we got one more pack. Our deck's looking pretty good. Oh, there you go. There you go. Can we cast this with double mirror march out? That would be gas. Oh, that's that's what that's what we're doing here. That's how we do. Oh, another rhythm of the wild. That's probably also how we do. I think. Yeah, I think it's better than Clan Guildmate. I also think it's probably better than Savage Smash. I do want some creatures now, though. Oh, Guildgate is fine. I don't like this guy just because he's only a 1-1. He's a 2-2, two -two, I guess, but... How am I feeling today? I'm alright. Okay. I want the Guildgate because we do have a Gate Colossus still. And we can just take this guy now, I guess. Alright. Man, if Rhythm of the Wild did it for tokens, I would actually play all the goblin gatherings that we're seeing. Open the gates is pretty good. All right, open the gates. Yep, two drop is nice. We needed a two drop here because we actually have none. It's a little scary. Same reason I'll take this Feral Maka here. Um, four guild gates. How many four drops do we have? Looks like two. <clears throat> Gateway Plaza is pretty reasonable. Hmm. Could just be Rubble Belt Runner as well. One, it's probably just Rubble Belt Runner, I think. <clears throat> Definitely not splashing Mystic off of one gate. <laughs> I do not see that. I do not see that happening. Oh, another one? All right. Probably gonna take out the Creeper then. Another Recluse. It's pretty decent. I don't think we're gonna play two of them, but it's nice to have. Yep, that was for my Ravager Rome, which I already have one of, so they just give me one... I think it's 100 gems. I thought it was 60 or 40 the other day, but I guess it's... I guess it's 100 now. Do we just take one Mirror March out? Is that too greedy? I think we just play 41. I'm actually okay with the way this deck looks. How many creatures? 16? Perfect. Beautiful. <laughs> Done. 
Two Recluse does seem good. Does seems good. But I like I like having one Rampaging Renhorn and one Mama Spider as well. And Bullrack. I think I think the diversity of our five drops is pretty nice. I also like because we have a Gruel Locket, so we can actually go three drop Gruel Locket and cast a five drop. More like mirror memes, am I right? Oh, I didn't look at our land again. Dang it. I always forget the mana base because they do it automatically for us. I'm going to keep this one. We have double green for this guy. We have a three drop. I'm okay with all of it. I did remember to fill up the drink today. Man, thank you so much. I really appreciate the looking out, buddy. Drink is filled. Oh, that was good. Can we go Mirror March and Negate Colossus? That seems pretty cool. Wow, alright, that's enough six drops. Rebel Belt Runner. I actually have, I don't think I've ever seen an animation, uh, a coin flip animation on Arena, so I couldn't tell you. <coughs> Get a reel. Oh, do we just play this? Because we can guaranteed play five drop. I don't think so, because, like, the reason is we're either going to get this guy or this guy down in the next two turns, right? So we can either play this guy now, and then if we don't have a play next turn, we can play this, right? But we have a play, and if we hit a land, we can just play this. If we hit land, land, there's no reason to skip a decent a decent board. Mm, thanks. No blocks. Really no pumps either. Oh, it's big griffs. Look at big griffs. This Ravager Worm is going to do some work, my dudes. Oh, well, we have no plays now. It was only a matter of time before he missed land drops and drew five and six drops, so... Yeah, how many coin flip cards are in this set? There's at least two, right? There's Rakdos and Mirror March. This guy's not doing us any favors. If we hit a land, we can play Mirror March, and then we can play like... Alright, well... I'm actually... Maybe we just want Ravager Room, but I'm pretty sure we want to go for the memes here. The full meme value. 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. No attacks, because I really got a block here. If they hit a land, they can pump both of these guys, which is pretty terrifying. But we can also just Ravager Worm here. <clears throat> which does make it less likely they have a counter spell. I'm sure after the shutdown, the Senate Griffin is happy to get back to work. I would... Oh, God, they're tapped out. Oh, boy. Jesus. Exciting. Should have killed this guy. I guess the planeswalker symbol means I lost. <laughs> All right. I mean, we could we can get like five guys. We could get lucky, right? Shut up and take my money. One biovisionary, two fast buck. What happened? All right. I'm going to concede because we just literally didn't hit a single, uh, that was cool. I, I, it was cool, I played a six drop and then I died. That was fun.
I had a good time. Everybody won. I didn't win. All right, let's check out this minibase. Uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine, seven, eight, nine. It's nine, nine. Oh, one swamp? Oh my god, magic, come on, dude. Actually, that's not terrible, because we could splash the second half of this. But that doesn't seem really that good. I'd rather just not have that. Shut up and take my money. And we have way more green, so we'll just add another forest. <clears throat> one, two buck. Man, all right, that's nice. I will play first. Okay. Coin flips sure make magic fun. Uh, I will say false. Raise the game. Uh, Alright, well if we can hit lands, we're, we're in a good shape to 5 drop, 6 drop here. Man, remember that time we got Mirror March out and then we got to play Ravager on post Mirror March? And uh, nothing happened? I remember. It's basically just, it's magic, sometimes magic is a way to prepare you for life. It's just a good way to be disappointed, I think. Everything should be a coin flip. Well, never want to run into that guy. <clears throat> so next time we have Bullrack into maybe Ravagerum? Maybe. Oh, I see. Look at this. Jiggity Jaws. Thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Welcome back. Here's to, here's to three months of good disappointment. You sound like my parents. Bullrack smash. Let's no attack. This guy, I just don't want to trade this guy with anybody. Oh, raising data. The thing is, we can pump this guy and then just start shooting things, which is kind of cool. I'm just gonna pass here. Borax ready. It's like bone saw. Pump this guy, I guess. Oh, it worked? Wow. Surprising. I did not know it would work. Uh, okay, so I'm going to do this. Target a creature. Remove a counter from this guy. Submit. Alright, that's pretty good. Oh, can we do it again? Can we do it again? Oh! -hoo. Oh! -hoo -hoo. Can we do it again? These are the questions we're asking ourselves. No attacks. I'm gonna kill this. Oh, they didn't actually. Oh, I wanted to save it. I don't know. No, they didn't. Maybe it's better not to save it, is what I meant to say. Oh, God. Here we go. Here we go. Always one one counters. Pretty, pretty, pretty good. 
They scooped anyway. It's all good. It's okay. We won anyway. <laughs> Oh, God. Oh, God. I have no idea what's even happening. How many sides on that coin there? I think it's just one. <sighs> okay. Um, I guess we'll just keep... I guess we're fine. Yeah, I'm gonna mulligan this bad boy. Oh, the old four forest hand. I'll keep it. It's lands, right? Uh, I will keep that, because if we can hit a red source in the next two, three turns. We hit a red source, guys. Everything's coming up Millhouse. If you have Mirror March out and active, she's one of their guys with that trigger. No, because it's coming into play. It, it, it doesn't enter the battlefield. Okay, every game we're going to draw Ravager Room, which is the kind of thing we want to see here. That's really the kind of... This is the kind of high-quality content we're looking for, guys. Oh, how much does this guy need? One red? Oh, we have one red? Oh, they're just missing infinite land drops, so the game is actually less fun. Oh, here's half your life total. I'm sorry, dude. This sucks. This sucks. Okay, that's a thing. Sorry, my dudes. I didn't select one. I guess it doesn't matter because they're dead. Yikes. Our deck is pretty okay, I think. Let's let's get this swamp out of here for another forest. And They're going first. If we can draw two lands in a row, this hand is gasoline. You denied your opponent that tasty chicken pretender. <laughs> You're right. You're right. I think we got a mulligan this hand. Double Rhythm of the Wild, though. Come on. Oh my god, I can't believe I kept this, dude. We're on the draw. We get literally two draws to hit a land, and then three draws to hit two lands. I don't know the odds of that. It's probably pretty low. Could you pull up a large art for Cinder Vines? The art is actually infuriating. All right. Well. This looks like the largest art that's available, which is actually pretty small. Um, We drew a land, guys. We're doing it. We're living this dream. I'm very good at this game. I have literal days where I'm very good at this game. And then I have weeks where I'm actually just terrible at this game. Alright, so it's going to look like this.
What are we what are we furious about? What's making us angry today? Oh, two left hands? No, two two right hands, you mean. That is very strange. Why does he have two right hands? Why does she have two right hands? Why do they have two right hands? I don't understand. That's really weird. Sometimes goblins are just all right. <laughs> I see what you did there. Um, A land would be nice because being able to play... Well, just being able to play on curve would be nice. I guess we can play Grohl. I don't want to take seven here. Let me just play Runner. I'm okay with blocking both of the either of these. Like they're probably gonna attack only with this guy, or they fly over and attack for three or four. But that's their turn, so that's okay. Some kind. Oh god. Look, they did only attack with that guy. That's pretty good. So we actually... We can play Gruul Locket into Maka, which is nice, because it lets us play Ravager Worm next turn. We could also just play Rhythm. I think one Rhythm is fine here. That is my one singer for the year. Can't believe I used it so early. Well, it was a good one, though. Actually, not surprisingly terrible. Oh, Borak gets. Oh, this is actually nice. We can go haste here, and we can just. Oh, I kind of just want to kill this guy now. Because they might have a trick. Actually, it doesn't matter. We don't have to do that if they're pumping it next turn. Then, like, it's not going to fly over. Like, if it just attacks, we can just block it and shoot this guy. Which I think is fine. And we're in a nice position where, like, if we hit a land, we can play both of these on one turn. If we if we don't hit a land, we can play both of these. And if we hit a land, we can also just play this guy. Okay. So. Kill this. That seems good. We get rid of a Get the Point and a Steeple Creeper for the cost of one measly token. Does whatever Frank... <laughs> God, yes, he is. He's a Frank. <laughs> Danny, these Spider-Man memes are just great. I'm a fan. Yeah, putting a counter on the hybrid isn't great, but you can give it double haste. Come on, guys. Just like this guy has plus one, plus one, and haste. Actually, it should have been two counters, because I'm not going to attack into this guy, so. Yeah, that was a that was a poor play on my part, guys. I'm, I apologize. There's no way I'm trading with a vampire for my 5-6. Yeah, the double haste line. I don't know why you... Oh, look who it is. Watch, we're going to draw March now. Mirror March, you ready? It's actually pretty okay. <clears throat> so what if we play this, and we give this the triple riot, 
Then we go one one counter, one one counter. Haste. And then they just block with this, right? I think we just have to be aggressive here. Let's get haste. Matchmaker, matchmaker, make me your match. What do they target? They have to target this guy because this guy is hex proof from modern colors, so they can't target with this guy. So if they block here, they take 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. They go 5. Seems okay. I mean, we do take 8, and they go back up to 8, but. I think I, I have my doubts they could deal an extra four points here. In before Colossus Collision. I think they're trying to figure out like if they attack are they dead it's very possible one two three four five if we hit a land we get to play both of these this is a four five so we'd have to deal f four and four we'd have five creatures we'd have i think we're actually pretty good oh that, that'll do okay so they're gonna block the biggest guys which are these two and then they take four five six seven eight nine Just do haste, counter, haste. So they block these two, they take four, five, six, seven, nine. Seems good. Triple riot, play creature, make it attack two turns before. I'll give haste, uh, haste cubed, or haste squared, and then haste cubed. So it actually attacked two, two turns ago. So, did you block or not? I can't remember. It was a while ago. I forgot how you blocked. Sagittarius Volley seems okay, but it doesn't kill their Sphinx, so maybe it doesn't seem okay. Yeah, I don't think we have a great sideboard here, so... Uh, I'm just going to submit. I'll keep this hand. We do need another green source, but I think I, this is this might be some of the best mana distribution we've had uh, ever. I think. Okay, so there you go. Thanks, Magic Arena. Also, the the Rakdos Guild Gate is nice for. Oh, I guess we can. Yeah, I, I'm like, well, we need money to swamp so we can cast so I can have a Bedazzle. I totally forgot that like the two Rakdos Guild Gates would also do that. You're not blocking, so.
Um, do we just run out of Rhythm of the Wild? Those are the questions. Next week, plan for... Well, uh, thanks for supporting the wedding that I'm going to have in four years, guys. <laughs> um, we can play Rhythm and one of these next turn. I think Ceratox probably just better here because we do have... We already have favorable blocks. I don't think it's worth risking the counter. Could have also attacked and then bedecked this guy if they blocked. But then we can't do anything else, so... All right. Well... See, now I'll play this. <clears throat> Adding too many hastes means you attack them in real life, so be careful. How many hastes does it take to attack them in real life, do you think? What's the number of real life hastes? Hastes in magic to real life hastes, where you're like, oh dang, I totally just killed you in real life because of my haste, because of my hastiness. This card's actually surprisingly hard to deal with. I mean, I guess we can make it a 3-3. Three, three. Okay, it's less hard to deal with now because we just put two counters on this guy and kill it. All right, well. God, this Ravager Worm is not a reasonable magic card, guys. Razor Gator. What is the program that lets viewers hover and see? It's a, it's an, it's an extension called Deckmaster. This is not a reasonable magic card. Oh my god, Ravager Worm is unbelievable. Super haste card is on the stack. Frank Lepore is resolving. Doorbell rings. <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> oh, get to the point. I mean, it's a two for one, right? It's hard to feel bad. I still feel bad. Yeah, you got it. Yeah, you got it, my dude. So one, two, three, four. Okay, so here's a here's a little cute thing we're gonna do. One of these, one of these. One of these. And exact sees. Ooh, this deck is okay. Despite the two mirror marches, this deck is pretty alright. I mean we're probably just gonna lose we're gonna owe, we're gonna owe two now. first keep snap keep we got mirror march and rhythm we got our whole enchantment package right here One, can we have a life lesson buck? Didn't I? Did I thought I gave one. Did I not give one? Don't quench me, bro. Really? It's okay. More where that came from, my dude. <laughs> got him. Well, I guess we didn't get him yet, but we're on course to got him. I mean, they did draw a card, but, you know. What can you do? All right, not bad. How much does this guy cost? He's going to cost six. So this turn we can go runner into one one counter. Oh, they missed some land drops too. Even after they drew an extra card, that's that's pretty okay. Oh, they didn't anymore. Dang it, it's all it's all over now.
You know what? Whatever you have, I'm totally fine with it. Sure. I don't... Do you have double fairy duelist? Okay, sure. <laughs> you got it. What a twist. I mean, it's real tempting to just try to gate... Oh, we can't gate Colossus and kill them. We actually have to try to play Mirror March first and then play gate Colossus. Mama ma morgan What's going on, my dude? Oh, a forest. Oh, getting a little rambunctious here. All right, so that's fine, I guess. Can we just can we just do it one time? I want to hit like seven. I want to hit seven things. That's greedy. I understand. Uh, let's get a haste. Shut up and take my money. One doorbell ring surprise bug. <laughs> All right, this card is doing really. I'm, I feel like I just want to take this out because. Uh, it's literally a six mana do nothing. Oh, I forgot they could pump this. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Yeah. 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 We had a good time. I had a I had a fun time playing that game. I had a very enjoyable time. Yeah, I forgot about the stupid Zagana. Because I was just so tilted by the Mirror March. I'm going to keep it in because of principle. Damn person called me and didn't hear about our baby. Way to ruin the month. Tell Mark didn't hear about our baby. What does that even mean? I'll keep this hand. We gotta open the gates. Good flipping. Also, could there be a sweet gate deck in modern with new stuff? Oh, I don't know if there's a gates feel too slow in modern, but I would love to be proven wrong. Let's get... I guess we're just going to get a forest here, because we don't have a second forest. What's we're going to draw Rhythm of the Wild. They mulled to five? Wow. Oh, and they opened on a, on a forest? Yeah, they're basically dead. I don't want to get ahead of ourselves, but they're basically dead. No blue sources? Oh, man. Yeah, let's do that. Come on, land. One time. That's not a land. That's a five drop. That's literally the opposite of land. Uh, let's do one and two. <laughs> oh. Oh, God. Look at this hand. We can't do anything with it. They're literally stuck on lands and we can't even penalize them for it with our our hand of monsters. What in the earth? Oh, come on. They're still at six. I can't complain, but like, I'm complaining. Untap land into Ravager Worm into just destroy your life. Oh, biscuits. B -b -b biscuits. So this is nice because you actually have to block this guy. So you can't even trade here.
Pronunciation for dummies. I ran out of clever sub-messages six months ago. You know what? That's okay. We'll get through this together. Warm can't destroy their lands. Why? Yeah, but I, I just want to fight. Can I just fight? Who's talking about lands? I don't even care about lands. Sure. Non-joke question, what is your single favorite thing about Magic the Gathering? Single favorite thing about Magic the Gathering? Um, my favorite thing about Magic the Gathering is that every few months it's different. It's a different game. Uh, and I think that's the reason why, like, I'll buy a game. And then I'll get bored of it after a certain amount of time. So there's so many, like, micro levels of Magic that are different every single time. From, like, you have a different opening hand. You have a different deck every game. You play against a different deck every game. You can build different decks every game. And then every three months... Standard, which is like the, the premier magic format, is pretty much different every game. Or every every game. Yeah, every game. So, like, I mean, it's just a game that's constantly evolving. And I think that's one of the few things that's ta that's taken up my interest for the past, like, 20 years I've played this game. Because I get bored of other games, you know? But magic, I've always been like, well, this is, this is it. This is the game I want to play. So, here I am, playing magic. Because it's always new, you know? Like, I mean, I feel like Ravnica, the Ravnica era of Magic right now, is different than the Kaladesh era of Magic. So they're like, they're, they're completely different games that share the same mechanics, the same core story, and like the same, the same rule set, right? But you're playing a different game every time. And it's kind of, uh, it's, it's interesting. I hope they play Sphinx's Insight to draw them two cards and gain them two life. That would be that would be great. I hope we hit land land. Oh, we hit a rhythm of the wild. Are there any flash creatures? There's there's fairy duelist, right? But I mean, I guess if we just keep up Titanic Brawl, it's not... Sure. Fine. Aha! Uh -huh. Oh. Yeah. Oh, no, that's fine. I didn't want that to resolve. That's sad. <laughs> oh, I should not have let that resolve. I thought they were targeting this guy again. I think that doesn't make any sense, right? I thought they were going to block one and one, so I was like, oh, I can just let that resolve. Yeah, that's pretty bad. All right, whatever. I mean, we have to resolve Open Rhythm of the Wild here. I guess that's okay. If we hit a land, we can go Grill Beastmaster, Counter, Haste, and Titanic Brawl. Yeah, that sucks. We should have totally Titanic uh, brawled there. We have to keep our guy. All right. Well, actually, if they're tapping out every turn, I'm pretty okay with it. Because I would actually put two counters on this, make it a 4-4, four, four, and then trade here. And by trade, I mean kill it. All right. Nicely done. Yeah, I think we're in good shape here. Elk Tears, what's going on, buddy? So we actually have uh, we have a great play next turn. We also have two great plays if we hit any land. So okay. Well, this plays around Quench, which I'm pretty okay with. I mean, we have no incentive to not. Did we open Hydroid? No. Double Mirror March, though, and we're playing both of them. Uh, it's gone quite well. I think we're 0-4 in coin flips. We've played Mirror March into Ravager Worm. Into Ravager Worm. Uh, I think another Ravager Worm. I think three Ravager Worms. And, oh, they can't be countered. 
I always forget about that. I literally always forget about that clause. On Rhythm of the Wild. Oh my god, I hope they try to quench this. They did not. That should be game. You can't block. I mean, you can play a Fairy Duelist, I guess. I don't think there's a human bounce spell. Slime line, sure. So you take that one. Okay, sounds good. Why wouldn't you slime by in here and go to one? If you slime by in here, you take one, two, three, four, five, six, you go to one, you don't die. Perfect conclusion of the best color red. That's fake news. Fake news, Jeno. I'm surprised this deck is going uh, as well as it is. We have two mirror marches in our deck. We're playing 41 cards. We have two six mana red enchantments that have literally done nothing every time we cast them. Uh, and we're still very, very far ahead. I think this one Ravager Worm is actually just pulling us way ahead. Oh, I'm going to keep this hand. We have a two drop, three drop, four drop, five drop, and another four drop. So if we hit lands, we're good. And even if we hit like two lands, I think we're good. If we hit one land, we're good, so... Oh, two rhythms are definitely helpful, yeah. March 5th through 8th is Elk Tears, uh, is Elk Tears arrival. He's gonna be here on those days. Frank loves mountains with the resub. 11 months of the best land in Magic. That sounds like fake news, but, you know. Eleven month streak. Wow, what a time to be alive. That's a good land to hit. Choose attackers? I thought I did. It literally... He's there, right? Is this me bugging or is it them? I can't tell. Okay. Match, make a match, make a find me a match. Let's play this match. Oh man, I'm loving this. Like, if we can draw, give me a forest. It's not a forest, but I guess I'll just replay my guy. Have they missed any land drops? I don't think so. I think we just missed one. So it was pretty uh It was it was due. We were due for missing a land drop. Sure. Yep. Okay. Well. There we go. Our hand is insane. Like if we can hit two land drops, like. I mean, we have two four drops that we can play no matter what the land is. Two five drops no matter what the land is. God, this is two shimmer of possibility? You got how many, how many pteramanders? Petteramanders? Salamanders? Flying salamanders? I bet they have like four in their deck and they're like, I need to play all of these cards. All right, fingers crossed. It's not going to resolve. We have two Rhythm of the Wild and they're going to quench this. It's going to be so stupid. O IRL Honesty Stream is 24-hour Hungry Howie's live stream. Mike B early morning wake-ups. Mike B prankathon. A giant birthday party for Mike B on stream. Rob and I playing rock, paper, scissors. Frank and I doing 100% playthrough of Crash Bandicoot 2. I don't know how many of these things are actually happening. Um... I kind of like just, like they're at nine, I kind of like just literally killing this and... I like that it tapped all four for me, that's nice. 
Oh god, don't quench this. Sure. Wait, how is it an 8-2? Oh, cause it gets plus 3. I mean, I still don't think you block here. If you want to trade with either of these, that's fine. Okay. Because you're going to trade with this anyway, so it's literally two for two. Thank okay. You. All right. Hungry Howie bought 11 months in a row. Wow. Proud sponsor of the best, most flavorful stream in Magic. I don't know if that's true, but I appreciate nonetheless. So we traded uh, Hybrid and Sentinel's Mark for uh, Bedazzle, Bedeck and Sphinx. You, you, that's probably not the best way for me to have said that, but, you know, I think you get the point. Oh, I kind of just want Borak out because they're at six, so if we can just, like, put counters. Here's a counter, here's a counter. They do have, they don't have a blue up, though. That's pretty good. That's pretty nice. Thank you. Elk Tears with the sub. March 5th or 8th, Elk Tears Takeover. Don't miss it. We will finally get the Hungry Howie sponsorship. Tune in to find out. Well. Well. We shall see, I guess. Oh, a 2-2. Two -two. Beautiful. Bulrak kills all your 2-2s. Two if we can hit one land, we can go... Uh, Counter on this guy, shoot this. You're at six and you're attacking with this wall? That's... I, oh, you have four, you can untap it. That makes sense. If you have nothing else to do, then that's... Yeah, that makes sense. I'm game for that. Well, I want the 5-5 five five to fight this. But it's not going to work that way. We could play this. It's an awkward situation. I guess we have time. Like, they don't really have much going on. We can Rhythm and then keep up a Titanic Brawl. Yeah, I like Rhythm. Rhythm giving two counters is pretty relevant for Borax, so... Uh, no attacks. Yep, that's fine. <laughs> I like Windstorm Drake when you're like, hey, I got a high alert out. <laughs> oh, it buffs nothing. Oh, uh, I'm pretty sure fighting deals damage equal to the power, right? Not the toughness. This says combat damage. It deals combat damage equal to its toughness. I think, I think they're, they're not... I'm pretty sure they have nothing in common. Oh, fight still works on the wall. We can actually just fight the wall. Actually, you're right. Yeah, I don't know what I'm thinking. Yeah, fight is a mechanic that literally has nothing to do with high alert or combat damage. Okay. Well, now none of our guys can get countered. I can put two counters on this. Make it a... Thank you. Or we can give it haste. Why would it not keep a green up? I'm sorry. Oh, I'm dying all inside. I don't want to give it haste. I didn't want to give it haste. I'd rather just have two counters on it now. This is actually terrible. This is... That's ridiculous. Oh my god, I can't. I just want to not play this anymore. Like, a part of me understands it. Like, I get it. Like, I get it. When I played this, when this was on the battlefield being... When this was being cast, I had no creatures that would allow me to cast this. So you left the mana up. That was most relevant. I get it.
I think it's stupid, but I get it. I would have put two counters on this. We did we did nothing with the haste, which is really frustrating. That's, I'm getting real. I'm tilted, guys. I'm real tilted right now. All right, so this has double haste, double double riot. So we can put two counters on this. Uh, we, it's it's one of the two three drops. It's probably gonna be this one. Please don't tap all of my things again. So we make one of these unable to block. Probably you, right? Uh, when it cast, when you respond, it's it's hard, it's a spell. Okay, so that doesn't matter. Uh, I don't care about you being able to block because you're at six. So, uh, which one did I give them already? I guess we'll give haste. Oh, it has a counter already, so we'll give haste. Okay, so... Matchmaking, matchmaking, find me a text. Uh... Yeah, that's fine. Let's pump this one, and we'll make this one unable to block. So now all the creatures kill this. If you block here, then you're dead. Oh, you're just dead anyway, I think. There's no block you can make that doesn't kill you. Yeah, they have a they have a 4-3, which is worse. A 3-2, which is worse. And a guy that pumps other creatures, which is worse. So I'm not thrilled. Uh, with the number of creatures. Actually, Sagittarius Valley seems great here. Um, can we take out? Probably take out the aggro. This guy? Yeah, that's fine. Volley! Oh, hi, alert. I don't love this hand, but it, we can cast all the things. Cast this at some point. Oh, two Exodus. Thank you so much. I'm For some reason, it's really low and I can't hear it. I don't know why. Can I adjust the volume somehow? I don't know how to do that. Oh, maybe it's actually... I have to do it actually within Streamlabs. Hold on. Let me do that. We got the Mirror March, guys. We're doing it. What could go wrong? The answer is nothing. I just realized Frank has something on his shirt. Have we found out what the word... Uh, it's a Jawbreaker shirt, but it's actually a new one. And it has a face on it, and it, underneath it says billions of men to hate. It's pretty great. You gonna quench my open the gates? That'd be hilarious. This is going to be hilarious. They didn't. They're like, what if he does have a land? What if he's just tricking us? I was just tricking you. It was all a ruse. A cunning attempt to trick you. Go ahead, counter this guy. I don't even care. That's bait. Wow, can we get to a point where we can destroy... Oh, they're just discarding cards now. That's no bueno. You gonna quench this guy? No, spider resolves. Let's go. Let's go to my alert box. Okay, here we go. Fifth time's a charm, ladies and gentlemen. Fifth time's a charm. You're not allowed to rent here anymore. <laughs> I'll never come back here again. 
I hope it feels good. You hope what feels good? I hope it feels so good to be right. There's nothing more exhilarating than pointing out the shortcomings of others. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Five in a row. That would be five in a row. Sound volume, let's put it at. I'm gonna up the sound volume for the for the subs to 70%. It was at 30%. And donations, I'll put up to 70%. And bits, I'll put up to 70%. 70%. Matchmaker rhythm, make me a match. Killing your gate and the nuns won't do. Why is this guy tapped? Oh, because it's there. Wait, what? Oh, they cast. Okay, I was like, I didn't pay attention to what was happening there. Uh, I want to cast the second half. Destroy an basic land. Yeah. Uh, no attacks. And we'll put the sound volume here up to 70. Alright, so now it's up to 70%. Like, I hope that's not too loud. Let me know. You guys will have to let me know by, by bidding or subscribing or donating right now. Okay, here we go. Rhythm of the Wild and the Sundering Shaman. They're going to counter this. That's fine. Sunder Shaman comes down. We're going to hit it. One out of six. We're going to hit it. Let's do it. Okay, well we got one. That's pretty cool. Hey, that's pretty good. Okay. So we, we, we've won one out of seven flips. It's pretty good. Pretty good. It's not good at all. Okay, we have nothing left in our hand. They can activate this. Now they're just dead. Okay. <laughs> Solid death touch. Oh boy, that, that is not gonna work. Uh, that is not gonna work the way you think it works, my good friend. Four zero. All right. How is your day going? Pretty all right, Dead Sights. Pretty all right. We are four zero right now, and we've hit one out of seven coin flips on this mirror march. So you know, what could what could go wrong? I guess. Once again, red wins. You know it does, but it shouldn't. Make a match, make a match, make a match. Keeping this hand because it's got lots of things. This hand's fine. We're on the draw, so we can actually hit a land drop. Hit another land drop. We have. Oh, we're not on the draw. We're on the play. It's even better. We can still hit land drop. Why would you play a card that depends on luck? You can't draw a third land half the time. Uh, it's funny you say that. <laughs> it's funny you mention that. <laughs> Let's take a gander at what's happening right now. Nailed it. I know it maybe shouldn't, shouldn't, but as a burn player, I just love to see people who complain of red win with red. I don't mind winning with red. I like being... So here's the thing. I actually like red. I don't like traditional red. One of my favorite decks back in standard when uh, New Phyrexia and Mirrodin Besieged and Scars of Mirrodin was out was... Um, 
was Big Red. Give him the old razzle dazzle, razzle bedazzle him. I don't think we can do that because it costs six and we don't have a black source. But I appreciate, uh, I appreciate the enthusiasm. <laughs> oh man, good times. Okay, so now we can play this. What's it? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's a yikes. Oh, we'll just play the Ceratok here, I think. Feel the 5 0 coming. Thank you. Dead Sight, thanks so much for the resub. Welcome back. Really appreciate it. Oh, I found a thing. Cheers. Was that too loud? How was the volume level on that? I feel like it was probably a lot better, right? <sighs> um, yeah, I don't see any reason to do anything in this. Row after row will crow vociferous. What is that from? I don't know what that is. Uh, this hand, it has a Ravager Worm in it, so we're just going to automatically keep it. I found a really... Oh, God. Here we go. Yeah, that picture's not that old. That picture's like three years old. Actually, it's probably like five years old. I'm singing the song. I didn't even know that was a song. Who's Elias? I don't even know who that is. I can't tell if you're being serious or not. Snoozle Moo, thanks so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. You the best. You the best. Happy Chinese New Year to you, my dude. He looks so young and full of hope, like he could win all the coin flips. He could. Back in the day, he won a lot of coin flips. Back in the day. I don't know who Elias is. I don't know what you're doing right now. I don't know what this meme is that you're doing. I can get rid of anything, living or dead. Fascinating. Pack your bags. And hit the road. I don't even know if I'd play Kai in a deck. It just doesn't do anything. She just literally plussed and did nothing. You do nothing. I chose you over self-promotion. I couldn't pass up the big geo mode. Hope your matches go well. I'm going to see you on the YouTube. What's self-promotion? What's the difference? What do you mean? I don't... Dead sites. I don't understand your reference there. They didn't even gain life, though, because there's no creatures in the graveyard. They didn't exile anything. You only gain two life if at least one creature is exiled that way. So it's like, that's not, they didn't even do that. Matt, I literally have no idea what you're saying, dude. Okay. Okay. Okay, okay. I'm just going to attack here and play Axe Bane. Axe Bane, bro. It's real mature. Shut up and take my money. Wear a shirt as a hat and make it look like you have long flowing locks. <laughs> wow, for only a dollar? This is what you're asking me to do for a dollar? Unbelievable. Why are they taking so long? Let's go. Let's go, Elias. Come on. Shut up and take my money. Or don't. I don't care. <laughs> okay, well. 
Oh, this is an emotional roller coaster here. I don't know what to believe anymore. You know what? Do what you want. I'm not your dad. Where is it? Wear a hat? Well, don't wear a hat. It's all fine. I like this curve. We can go this guy next turn with this into any one of these two. Okay, that was a that was an interesting thing that you did. Shut up and take my money. One Frank played a lot. What's wrong? I don't understand these memes that you do that don't make any sense to anyone but you. It's very Andy Kaufman esque. I watched a bunch of Andy Kaufman videos on YouTube last night. Oh, that's a good dude. We have two cards exiled? Sure. Like, I feel like they're not going to attack now. <laughs> Sound that Norm MacDonald level humor. <laughs> I finally learned that coffee didn't die. He had reconstruct surgery to become Jim Carrey and play himself and man. Wow, that's. That is a take, alright. That is a take. Can I get like a, I don't know, like a bedazzle to kill this thing? And then we can still play this guy? Be a great turn. It's gonna be huge. The turn's gonna be huge. I have the best turns. That's funny. That's... Oh, I'm sorry, was that dear to you? <laughs> we don't even have the razzle bedazzle. But you know what? Let's take a turn off and see what happens. Because we have both of these. So what happens? You have reached LP1, create a token that's a copy, and this is enter the battlefield when it enters the battlefield. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. The guy has a lot of sass for someone who's doing next to nothing. That's true. That is a factual statement. No attacks. Oh, no, a little 2 1. I'm terrified. It's okay, we're not gonna hit anything. Ooh, two two ones. What if we. I'm waiting for, like, the, the glitch where I get, like, seven of these in a row. And I just fill the board with Ravager Worms. We're gonna draw Rhythm of the Wild because then it's gonna make me wanna play Rhythm before I play these. We're not gonna do it, though. We're just gonna slam because we have two six drops. And then if we hit another land, we can go Gruel into it. We can go Rhythm money. into Gruel. One heard you playing me, but. <laughs> You're not welcome here anymore. Oh, Elias. Hey, what's going on, Elias? Good uh, good seeing you. Wow, this meme is... It's really... It's a weird meme. I'm going to be honest. It's very... This is some surreal comedy here. We're 1-7 in flips, boys. I'm gonna make the OG have a, actually. What do we got here? No, I'm gonna actually. Uh, wait, did they not have black up? <gasps> they have no black up. All right, let's see how many flips we lose. We got one. We get a copy. One copy is pretty good. Oh, uh, it's going to have haste already, so... He already had... I did not see that he did in a response. It did not show me on the card anywhere, unfortunately. Yeah, that's pretty sad. I'm pretty sure that's not a punt. Like, I didn't actually know it was there. Yeah, that is... It said Death Touch? Where does it say that? These don't say flying. Like, where does it say Death Touch? If you're talking about, like, a little icon here, then, like, okay. Maybe when you hovered over it, sure. Yeah, but I didn't really, like, even... Alright, whatever. Like, I'm not gonna argue with you guys. Fashionably late to the party. Huh. 
<laughs> this is the point where like I don't even care about your Kaya, dude. I didn't it look like it made three copies? Didn't four coins come down? Wouldn't that be three copies? Am I crazy? Can someone clip that? It looked like it went ping, 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 ping. And the fourth one looked like the... If the last one was tails and three coins... If there were four coins and the last one were tails, then three of them would make copies. So there should have been three copies, not two copies. So can someone just clip it to figure it out? Let's also congratulate ourselves on our 5-0. I could have sworn I saw. I hate that they're giving. I wish you could pick what packs you want. This is frustrating because, like, I have all the rares here, so I'm literally just opening on commons and, and maybe a mythic every now and then. Yeah, cool. Might have been. Might have been three. I could be wrong. The fourth coin had death touch. That's why I couldn't see it. So here's the thing: you win six packs, right? And your rares are worth 20 gems each. So you're basically getting 120 gems for your six packs. Okay. 120 gems. When you 5-0, you get 2,100 gems. So basically all five, all six of your packs are worth an extra 100 gems in addition to your 2,100 gems. It's pretty... I hate it. This is my least favorite thing right now. It's that they force you to get... Rav like the most recent set and when you already have all the rares for that set your rares are turned into 20 gems which is basically nothing I, I, I think in no way can you translate the, the, the gems that you get for rares into good value I don't think there's any way you can spin it where it's like but think about it this way it's pretty bad it's pretty bad because if you consider all the rares the, the price per pack uh, it comes the rare comes out to 13 cents the, the 20 gems comes out to 13 cents worth Okay, you guys both clipped it. So what is the what is the outcome here? Let's see what we got here. Fashion really to the party. So we're gonna play it. Colossus comes down. Alright, Colossus is coming down. One, two, three. Oh, it is three. It was three flips. <laughs> I saw the last one come down. Okay, cool. Sounds good. Anyway, if you're watching on Twitch, I'm not leaving. But if you're watching on YouTube, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. You can check me out on Twitch and Patreon if you want to support me. Outside of just watching on YouTube, I really appreciate it. It's a great way to support the channel. You can also check out MeUndies.com slash Frank Lepore. You'll get 15% off. Along with some of the, the most soft, the softest micromodal cotton underwear you can get. And um, you'll get free shipping and free returns as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you next time. Really appreciate it.